Hi, welcome to A Bold Brave Christmas, and I'm really excited to reveal to you the symbolic meaning behind the Christmas story. And we're going to, you know, be staying right in the Word of God. And I'm just believing for a fresh new revelation within your home. And you will be enlightened about, you know, just the power of God and how He thinks in His character. And we're going to start with where Jesus was born. He's born in Bethlehem and Bethlehem is actually Latin for the word bread house. And being that Christ is the bread of life, that's really, really significant. We also have the wise men that are delivering gifts to Jesus. And we don't know how many wise men there were. We know there were three gifts, but we don't know how many wise men. The Bible doesn't tell us. But we do know what the gifts represent, and I'm going to reveal that to you right now. We have, first of all, the gift of gold. Gold is God's precious gift, and he says that in the Bible. And um, its value is divine. And if you read in the book of Haggai 2.8, the scripture reads, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Gold's value is, it's just very divine, um, even by its origin. When you read the book of Genesis, um, we see in Genesis 2 that there is gold um, along the rivers in the Garden of Eden. Heaven's streets are paved in it. It's crystal clear like glass. And so, and it's very, very pure. And, um, you know, the wise men are delivering these gifts because they do believe Jesus to be king. And um, and kingship, this, this is very symbolic in delivering these gifts in kingship. And gold also is used at that time period for money. Precious metals were gold and silver. And so everything would be weighed and that's how you bought things. So Mary and Joseph probably used the gold that was given to them um, as a means for, you know, for living and for survival as they were raising their baby. And um, then we also have the gift of frankincense. And um, so the set the stage here, uh, we have you know, the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. All of these three gifts have a direct um, correlation with the Holy of Holies, with the temple that Solomon built, with the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is made out of gold. Solomon's temple, the walls were layered in gold. And the frankincense would be the incense that was burned. And so what would happen inside the Holy of Holies, we have the Ark of the Covenant and the high priest would go in. Everything is very, very clean. Everything has been anointed. It's, it's quite a process. When you read First Kings in the Old Testament, what they do to enter the Holy of Holies is really incredible. And this is where they would atone for sins and they would do this once a year a priest would go in they would sacrifice an animal a lot of times it was a lamb it was the finest lamb they would take the blood from the lamb and they would go into the holy of holies they would put the blood on the mercy seat which is the covering of the ark of the covenant and they would put the blood on top of the gold and so they would burn incense in the Holy of Holies, and that incense was the frankincense. And the frankincense is a tree sap that comes off of um, the tree. I'm going to tell you what tree in a minute. And Christ was crucified on a tree. And it was the only incense allowed in the Holy of Holies. And the name of the tree is called a Boswellia. Boswellia. <laughs> I can hardly pronounce it. Um, Sacra tree, and they are um, prominent in uh, parts of Africa, and then they're prominent in other parts. Um, but I, actually, I don't remember. But 
Um, the, the point of me delivering this to you is there is a lot of prophetic significance in these three gifts. The myrrh that was brought um, to Jesus as well, myrrh is used for anointing bodies before their burials. And so I, I don't know about you, but when I look at all that and how God orchestrated that and put that together, um, I just think it's completely amazing. Uh, I was going to share with you the shepherds. The shepherds play a really big part as well because they are the very first ones to even know about Christ being born. Shepherds were watching the flock by night, so they watch the sheep. They guard the sheep, and they get to go out in the community, and they get to tell the community that the Lamb of God has been born. Not a priest, not a form of government, none of the Pharisees knew but the shepherds who hide in the woods, they're dirty, they're grungy, and um, the characteristic of a shepherd is they're great warriors because they battle animals to protect the sheep. And they're, they're thought to have been kind of quiet people. They like to be to themselves. And so they go out in the community, and it looks odd that these shepherds are coming out of the woods into these communities declaring the Lamb of God is here. They were believable. And so um, I hope that this is just blessing you immensely by listening to this because I love learning Um all about the Lord and God and how he works because you know what this is how he works in our lives he he orchestrates things for us and he wants us to see and he says my sheep hear my voice and when we remain steadfast in prayer and as we walk through our lives he takes care of absolutely everything for us so I hope this video enlightened you and that you have a better understanding of the symbolic meanings behind um, the Christmas story. And I'm going to catch you in the next video um, on a bold, brave Christmas. Bye.